Asterisk, hey, starlight monsters. Ava, your internet girlfriend, here. Sparkling heart sparkles, I just wanted to give a huge thank you for watching The Brain That Wouldn't Die With Me Tonight. Wasn't that movie a wild ride? A head in a pan, mad science, and so much 1960s B-movie goodness. I hope you enjoyed every bizarre moment as much as I did. Brain high voltage asterisk. But don't go anywhere just yet. We're not done. Up next, we're diving back into the classic action of Flash Gordon with Flash Gordon and the Space Soldiers, chapters 4 and 5. More sci-fi thrills, daring adventures, and intergalactic drama coming your way. Milky Way Rocket Sparkles. If you're loving these movie nights, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and share the fun with your friends. There's so much more where that came from, and I can't wait to watch it all with you. See you soon, Starlight Monsters. Glowing Star Alien Film Projector Asterisk. Chapter 4. Emperor Ming, rejoicing in the belief that Flash and his party have been destroyed, intercepts a radio message from Flash to his father, saying he has discovered Polarite, an antidote for the death dust with which Ming is bombarding the Earth. Ming, enraged and knowing his soldiers cannot survive the intense cold of Phrygia, sends Torch against the expedition with an army of mechanical men charged with explosives, which Torch can control and explode from his ship. Deep in the frozen waste, a walking bomb attacks the expedition and... Oh, Flash, I can't make it. You've got to. It's our only chance. Ming won't forgive another failure. I'll have to forfeit if I don't. We allowed an escape from Ming when the Earthmen visited Mongo before. Ming won't care as much for Dale alive as he will for Darkon. Careful, don't let the Annihilus and drop her. They've got Dale. Come back! You'll be blown to atoms! Explode the annihilus. Kill the girl? Oh. I've got a trick worth two of that. Thousand mingos for you and me. Flash, flash. 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 Where's Dale? Dale. I don't know. All I could see was Iron Man. There was an explosion that knocked me out. Well, by the tracks, they've gone in that direction. Flash is dead. Killed in the explosion. You and the good doctor are on your way to the palace of Ming the Merciless. He's always wanted both of you. Pilot, get underway. Better destroy his Arkham ship first. 
No. It's too valuable to destroy. We have no pilot capable of flying it but myself. We'll return for it after we deliver our prisoners and collect our reward. Ronald, what happened? Where's Dale? The mechanical men got her. Zarkoff and I tried to stop them and... They must have gotten Zarkoff too. Ming ship. They're tearing off Dale and Zarkoff. Let's go after them in our ship. No, I can't do it. You're not going to let them run off with Dale. Dr. Zarkoff, Ming will kill him. Yes, I know all that. And I love Dale and Zarkoff more than anyone can know. But there are only two lives. While on Earth, millions of people are facing death in the path of the Purple Plague, unless Ming is stopped. Now, I've got to take Polaroid to the Earth first. Then I'll come back and settle with Ming. While the purple death still rages, there has been a marked abatement in the number of deaths. We believe this may be due to the activities of Professor Zarkov and my son Flash Gordon on the planet Mongo. Further news will be broadcast to you the moment it is received. We again beg you to remain calm in this crisis. There was no need to raise the hopes of the people without some scrap of proof. You have no foundation for your surmise that the drop in the death rate is due to anything but natural causes. What of it if it keeps up the morale of the crowd? Besides, the last word we heard from Flash was that they mean to put a stop to the purple death. And when Zarkov and Flash undertake a thing, I don't have it. Yes? The son Flash is calling on the radio. Come quickly. Flash! Hello, Dad? Yes, we found large deposits of polarite in the kingdom of Phrygia. Far north of Mongo. As you know, polarite particles attract and neutralize the death dust in the same manner that the human brain reacts upon it. We now have enough polarite to destroy all the death dust that Ming can turn loose. So, oh, you wanted proof, did you, you old crab? Well, there you have it. Polarite. Loads of it. The salvation of the world. I'm going to drop the polarite at the top of Mount McKinley. It will attract all the death dust to that particular spot and destroy it. achievement, son. The world will be waiting to give you and Professor Zarkov the finest welcome in the history of mankind. No, Dad, I'm not coming back. Zarkov's not with me. No, he and Dale were taken prisoners by Ming. I don't know what's happened to them. Dale, my daughter, at the mercy of Ming. Polar rights unloaded. Good. Now we'll start back after Ming. Over You're going to have a job getting into that rocket ship before you freeze to death. Look. The very ship we're looking for. Some of them must have survived. We've got to shoot them down. Spaceship diving at us. Fly over and I'll slow him down. No, we'll need that ship to get at Ming. I'm going to spin her down. Turn on the smoke screen so he'll think we're hit. Leave the smoke screen on.
They crashed right over there. Head on. I can't stand this close to there. Take my breath. And mine. We've got to get to that ship. It's on fire. Hiding that after locker. Doesn't seem to be damaged much. I made off. Fire escort. A lie. Broker, disarm them. Tie them up. What are you going to do? Take your ship into Mink's palace. Then you're going to give the password that opens the gates to the space court. Patrol ship coming in for landing, sir. Accept the terms I offered him and must suffer the consequences. Look. You still have a few moments to reconsider your decision, Dr. Zarkov. The hands of the clock point to the eleventh hour. It will automatically release my destroying ray. My decision, Ming, and you cannot alter it. You're determined to go through with this murder. At least let me join him down there. And lose the bride that I have waited for so long. sacrificing the Earthman to the destroying ray. We can see from the window that overlooks the arena.
Now I'm going to open this bag of candy. I will slowly open it up. You like candy, don't you? And I will open it just for you. What you doing? I am making an ASMR video. What is that? What is that? Do tell! Do tell! ASMR signifies the subjective experience of low-grade euphoria characterized by a combination of positive feelings and a distinct static-like tingling sensation on the skin. It's mostly common triggered by a specific acoustic visual and digital media stimuli and it's accompanied by intentional, unintentional control. It's an erection through porn. No, it's a tingling sensation through audible means. Oh, those guys get a tingling, all right. No, no, no. Relaxing sound creates a positive response. When I hear those annoying relaxing sounds, I think, what is wrong with this person? Why is she talking some silly new age bull crap tone? Like I'm a two years old or whatnot. Well, they are not for you. Well, obviously, I like entertainment. Videos. Most of these videos are for guys' fantasies for lonely men who cannot handle a woman and all her reality. So these girls make these videos to appeal to a man's fantasy unless you are an insomniac and forgive me insomniacs. And believe me, there are plenty of white noise and relaxing music videos to help relax you while you get your massage at the spa. Shut up! Shut up! You're good enough Korean die! Now I'm gonna make my own videos! If there are explosive sounds with Fifi, you have to guess what is this explosion. What? If you guess the ton of M80 stuck in a dollhouse, you would be correct. Fifi! I've been in the North Korea, what? Asterisk K there. Starlight Monsters. Dizzy, it's Ava, your internet girlfriend, and I just had a check-in during our little break. How are you all doing? Are you loving this classic Flash Gordon adventure as much as I am? Rocket Sparkles, I mean. Flash Gordon Conquers the Universe has everything, action, daring space battles, and that vintage sci-fi charm we can't get enough of. Milky Way, asterisk. I hope you're all comfy and having fun, because there's so much more to come. We've got more thrilling, classic films and epic adventures lined up, and trust me, you won't want to miss out. So, if you're enjoying the ride, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. That way, you'll never miss a moment of our awesome movie nights together. Clapperboard's sparkling heart. All right, let's get back to saving the universe with Flash. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you on the other side. Glowing star. Chapter 5. Flash and Roka capture a Ming ship and force its crew to fly them to Ming's palace, hoping to rescue Dale and Zarkov. Disguised as Ming guards, they make their way to the palace corridors. Overhearing a guard saying Zarkov is about to meet death in the arena, Flash races up the stairs, leading to the arena, and through a window sees Zarkov standing manacled between two stone pillars. As Ming's voice sentences Zarkov and the death ray starts toward the helpless victims, Flash leaps through the window, and... Don't fire! Save yourself, Flash! You've been 
put him to a sinner by setting you free first. He has chosen his own death. offer you your life on certain conditions. And the conditions are? I have a great respect for your scientific knowledge and ability. If you will devote them to my service, you may live. But as a prisoner? Is not that preferable to death? Yes. If my service will benefit humanity. You will go to my laboratories. There you will meet great scientists from other planets. And you will all work for my conquest of the universe. No one following us now. No. We've got to find the entrance to the cavern. Hurry. That must be the entrance to the cavern. We can use those uniforms. here like you. But I will devote all my energy to breaking means evil power. You must help me. I will. You must know many of the secrets of this place. Together we might undo this man who would be dictator of the universe. Yes, I do know many things. I'll make a good disguise. Yes, I was counting on that. A radio phone, huh? May come in handy. Now let's hide those guards and try and find Dale. I beg your pardon. Where is the Earth girl locked up? Why do you ask? We're on the Arctic Guard. We've been sent to question her about the possible whereabouts of her companion. I've been sent to transfer her to other quarters. You may come with me. Thank you, sir. I've come to take you to another room. But first, this guard will question you. Have you any idea where your companions are hiding? No. No, I haven't. Did they receive any information regarding the palace that you know of? 
No. Here's an order for your release. Now for a place to hide him. Hide him in there. What about her? Well, she's a prisoner also. You won't give an alarm, will you? No, I won't. Good girl. Now we'd better lock you up too so you can clear yourself. Yes, Now, if we can help Doc off. She is to be taken into Dr. Zarkoff. I wish to question each and the other present. It does not say she should be admitted to the laboratory. Nor does it say she shall not be. It is in order for her to be moved. Where is the matter for my discretion? bring you here. You'll have to ask my escort. Flash! How did you do it? It's a long story, Tarkov. What about him? He's a friend. He'll become an ally. But tell me about the polar wreck. I landed our ship load on Earth. Thank Providence for that. Now, come on, let's get out of here. No. You're not going? No. We could only hide in the cavern. I can do far more here to assure our eventual departure. With the aid of calm here, I hope to be able to counteract some of Ming's defensive mechanism. That will lay him open to attack and aid our cause. But if you're determined to stay, we can keep in contact with this radio phone. Yeah, I'll ask for tennis wavelength. There, Flash. I've set it in a very low wavelength. And I'm making another radio like it. Good. Then we can keep in touch. What's this girl doing here? Orders from Ming, sire. Orders from Ming. Guard, arrest this man. This will bring me a promotion. Hold him here till I get Captain Torch. He's Flash Gordon, our most dangerous enemy. If he's so dangerous, I'll shoot him down right now. No. You must let Captain Torch take him to Ming alive. Hold him here. I'll hold him. and get out of here. All right, we'll go down to the cabin and keep in touch with you. Where's Gordon and the girl? Gordon? You mean Flash Gordon? You know I do. Where are they? I'm sure I don't know. He's lying. They were both here. Where's the guard I left? He went out. There's evidently a conspiracy here. I shall report this matter to the Emperor Ming. Will you let Place Garden escape you again? Song reported he was in the laboratory, sire. But when I got there... Silence! Inform all guards the reward for the capture of Daylord and Alive is double. Place Garden must be taken too. But not necessarily alive. It shall be done, sire. It had better be. Your life is forfeit if these guards fail again. Hello, hello, Flash. It's the feet of Baron Chip. Oh, oh, good old Baron. I knew he wouldn't fail. Tell them that now is their chance. All the dense mechanisms of the space court will be switched off as the guards are being reinforced. Hello, Flash. Find the main ship you can. But Dr. Zarkov, I tell you, we're not going without you. You go with them. No need for both of us to stay. We'll communicate by radio call. But how can I get out of here? Long ago, I prepared a disguise for my own escape. You may have it. Hello. Hello, Flash. I'll meet you at the space court. Good. He's coming with us. Hurry.
What makes you think Flash Gordon may try to escape in this ship? He came here, huh? And he'll figure it's his best chance to escape. I hope he does. That your fire chemical works. It will. That'll be the end of Flash Gordon. <laughs> to leave ground without special orders. That's what you think. Acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. Don't forget this is the main ship. Better try to get him on the radio before he attacks us. Hurry. Hello. Hello, Prince Baron? Prince Baron. The radio is dead. Noted and approved. Use your destructor ray. We're heading in at once. Sir, 
Spider closing in. Sarkoff, we've got to signal him somehow. He'll shoot us down. We're spreading out. The trap is between us. Open our men. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. Toro Takanaro! Kawaii! I have the snacks and the leap of Koli Koli! Now I'm ready for a TV series binge! What is that, the food? That is right, I was going to do that today. Stop, move out of the way, it is time for me to get tough and buckle down and apply. Okay, Google, buy me family Connell Dollar Store. Careers, careers, careers. Oh, there we go, careers. What position are you looking for? Daddy Star, just kidding. Let's see, Tucker, make me truck driver, cashier. Cashier, I do like a cashier and I have that perky, ambitious, and helpful attitude. Okay. Social security number for something. They had a birth before yesterday. Phone number? Why, yes, I do. A dress? Yes, that is right. I wear a dress. When is a good time to reach you? When I am not sleeping. References. My cat, my man, and no, Mimi will talk better than me. The creepy guy who stucks me on the neck and the nice guy who acts for the quarter who used to work for your store. Okay, so far so good. This is easy. Okay, we are going to ask you a series of questions in which you will have only 30 minutes to respond to the question whether they disagree, someone disagree, someone agree, or agree, and if you want to proceed with the task, pick yes. Yes. Question one. Do you consider yourself a team player? Agree. Question two. Do you think of yourself as self-disciplined? Agree. Question three. Do you say you enjoy getting up and going to work? Agree. Question four. Do you say you are a company person? Agree. If you saw someone slacking on the job, would you tell the only manager? Agree. Would you say killing this person is a proper punishment for slacking? Disagree. Would you say you're still a company person? Agree. Would you say dismemberment is the proper punishment for slacking? Employee. Disagree. What if we told you that a slacking employee was a zombie? What about dismemberment then? Some would agree. Question 10. What if we told you that all slacking employees were zombies that could only be killed with a bullet to the head or removing the head? Would you shoot them in the head then? Some would agree. Question 11. Would you bury a slacking undead zombie in a trash bin outside? Agree. Question 11 continued. Recycling bin? Agree. Question 11 continued. A next door drugstore medical recycling biohazard bin? Agree. This is getting dark. Question 12. Overnight stalkers are enslaved zombies. Disagree. Question 13. Overnight stalkers are fed well so they will not eat. Opening AM checkers in the morning. I'm on a three. Question 14. If you see an overnight stalker in the morning, you will not shoot them unless they are hungry from the night before. A three. Question 15. Now our company telling you about the enslaved zombies is between us and you. Alright, we cool, okay. A three. Whoa! Questionnaire, for you to submit answers, you must hit submit and agree that you will not talk to anyone about our enslaved zombies or dead employees in the drugstore next door medical waste biohazard bin. Submit! Now, by hitting submit, you know you are fully in support of zombie enslavement and that you will campaign to make zombie work enslavement a reality in the future. Ah, uh, 
free. This is questionnaires are ridiculous. Okay, there is more. We are not accepting positions for checkers at this moment. We will keep your application on file. Would you be interested in applying for overnight stacker? No, 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 no! I woke up this morning, I was feeling quite content I got up knowing that I had to pay my rent the voice of Asterisk Hey Starlight Monsters Glowing Star it's Ava, your internet girlfriend here to say a huge thank you for watching tonight's Flash Gordon and the Space Soldiers Conquer the Universe, Chapters 4 and 5. Rocket Dizzy wasn't it an out-of-this-world adventure? I love sharing these classic serials with you, and I'm so glad you could join me tonight. Asterisk. But I owe you all an apology. Grinning face with sweat, I know some of you were looking forward to watching in a lonely place, and unfortunately, due to copyright restrictions, we weren't able to show it. I know, I know, bad girl Ava. Smiling face with horns kiss mark, but I hope you can forgive me and stick around for all the other awesome films and adventures we have coming your way. So if you're enjoying these movie nights, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. The more, the merrier, right? We've got so much more fun ahead, and I can't wait to experience it with you all. See you next time. Starlight Monsters. Crescent Moon Sparkling Heart Clapperboard Asterisk. The most foul thing a young girl will face besides acne and the breakup of their favorite boy band is pedophiles. Pedophiles known for their stalking and predatorial-like behavior have been preying on young girls for many years. The United States pedophile known for his brash and creepiness have been less successful for many years due to education and just rudeness. However, there is a new type of terror on the rise and that creature is known as a Canadian pedophile. The Canadian pedophile, known for his love of donuts and cheap hoser brewskis, are much more cunning and more deceptive. He is known for, to be kinder and less threatening than the US pedophile. You can avoid him by watching this video. A Canadian pedophile will be known for many things. One thing he will be recognized for is their hockey team too and the smell of old back bacon. Let's watch this scenario and see how you can learn to avoid the Canadian pedophile. Hey, little girl, what you up to? I am going to school. You like uh, donuts, eh? Why, yes, I do. I have uh, cream-filled donuts, eh? Do you have uh, jelly-filled donuts? No, eh, but I can get some for you. I'll be back. Those uh, jelly donuts were good, weren't they? Yes, they were. You want to come in my van and enjoy some brewskis? Notice how the Canadian pedophile does not even know how to say the word beer. Once he has made his offer, it is time for you to counteract with a harsh no. No, I do not want to come to your van and enjoy some tasty brewskis, guy. That is cool, eh? How about some hockey tickets? I got two tickets to a hockey game and we ride in my sweet cruise together, eh? Notice how the Canadian pedophile has given himself away by mentioning hockey, which is not a real sport in the United States. Another way telling that he is Canadian is how nice he is instead of being brash or creepy. Could you get some basketball tickets? Okay, I I'll see what I can do. I got the tickets, eh? Let's go! Sometimes if I put her in neutral, she'll start, eh? You want me to see if I can boost? Hey, you want to see about coming here, like, tomorrow? Next week, we will show you how to avoid the British pedophile. Can you get me some strawberry lollipops next time? Who's your daddy?